appreciate y'all being here. Um, obviously, uh, difficult week. Difficult week for our young men, difficult week for our, our program. And uh, we, we were able to fight through that during the week. And we came out, and I'm proud of our kids and their effort. But at the end of the day, um, we play this game to win. And we didn't play well enough to win the football game. And we need to find ways uh, in the first and second half to continue to be better. And what we need to do this week, starting, starting tonight, moving forward, is be better at everything we do to be able to have ourselves in position to be playing winning football in the fourth quarter. And I'm proud of their effort. I'm proud of their resilience. I'm proud of their fight. But they're disappointed too. And they want to, they want to win just as bad as anybody. And I want that for them more than anything. And we're going to continue to push forward. Um, we're going to let this hurt for a while, because it does. And our kids fought. But we're going to find a way to get better in a short week and prepare and get ready to go on the road and, and, and play our tails off and get a win. Because that's why we play the game. Open it up for questions. Uh, Coach, just your, you know, uh, any update that you've gotten on to Travis uh, since he went down and, and was, was carted off the field? So I was uh, just informed that they took him to Tampa General um, for precautionary reasons. He left the field in good spirits um, with movement in his extremities. Uh, I'm not a doctor, so I, as far as all that, uh, any, more, any more specifics beyond that, that is all I got as I came in here. Um, and we'll keep you posted as we move forward with any updates we get. They did not call targeting on the play. Did, did you have a clear look to see if you thought it should have been a targeting call? I did not have a clear look at all at the situation. Um, had a lot going on today with some changes in, in my role. So there was, a, I got to be honest, there was probably a lot that I didn't see. Um, but I did not see the end of that play, nor did I have a, a clear look. Coach. It seemed you kind of alluded to it this week. You're going to change some things up. Look like defensively, want a little bit more tight front. Was that kind of one of the, the one of the wrinkles at least that you guys wanted to try to implement there? So we we tried to look at our, our our personnel and see what we could do in a in a very difficult week in a short period of time with some new coaches. It, it's very difficult to overhaul. Um, but we tried to take a few things just to keep them on on their heels. Um, and there was some of that today. I, I believe we were able to, to fight a little bit and keep some kids in some positions. Um, but at the end of the day, we got to find a way to, to do it a little bit more. But, yeah, there was, there was some of that absolutely in, uh, in this game plan. Uh, Eddie Kelly went out early. Uh, any status update? I, I did not receive an update on Eddie Kelly. I think it definitely starts up front. Um, those guys have uh, those guys have played a lot of football, and I don't know the exact number, but I know Meech uh, starts wise. Today was his 51st start. So when you talk about experience, and you talk about a guy that's uh, a line, we have a we have a very experienced line. And those guys do an excellent job. And, and yes, Brian is Brian's a special player. Um, but it starts with those guys, and, and he knows that, and he takes care of those guys very well. Um, but when he gets out in space, he, he has an unbelievable ability to make people miss, and he continues to do that. And he's, uh, he's, he's, he's a warrior. So he's, yeah, we'll keep putting the ball in his hands as much as we can. Uh, in the third quarter, you guys go on a, on a uh, you know, scoring run, you know, a 10-point swing, could have made it a 17-point swing at a halftime. Instead, they go tw uh, 24 unanswered points until you guys can respond. Just what did you guys, uh, you know, did something change out of the half that, you know, turned the tide in that, in, in that aspect? I, I think the easiest way to say that is, yeah, you, I mean, they go 24 in a row. We're, we're not keeping drives alive, obviously, because we're not getting any points out of it, and we weren't stopping them. And specific plays or specific reasons why that took place, I mean, we'll go back and look at the tape. Um, but... Yeah, if, if, if we're not getting off the field on defense and we're not continuing to keep the drive going, it's not going to result well for us. And I, I'm not sure where that kind of – where how you alluded to it, where that kind of took place and why. Um, but I know our staff will, will do an excellent job of finding that and finding a way to prepare properly um, moving forward, which – excuse me, we prepared properly, but find a way to prepare differently if that we feel that that's an issue to get that rectified. Coach, uh, quick question. You know, Jason Albrin today, he only get his first career 
collegiate touchdown today. Obviously, what have you guys seen in him, and you know, giving him some reps here in today's game, and and how does he add to this effective rushing attack that you guys already have? Jason's a hard nosed football player, not just runner. Uh, we were able to get him off the scout team partway through. He showed some flashes in fall camp. Got him off the scout team, got him moving forward, played a little bit on special teams, and then all of a sudden he's playing in the game on offense. He plays with great fire, great emotion. He's got a low center of gravity. He's thick, he's physical, and he, he runs the ball very well. So a uh, neat little package there for him, and uh, very excited for him and his pride and passion that he has in this university. You got one drive of, of Byram at the end. You know, if the Travis is out for an extended period of time, um, just, you know, what's your confidence in, in Byron to get it done on the road next week? As far as confidence, uh, I have the utmost confidence in him. From the day he stepped foot on this campus, he has been a professional in his preparation of always being prepared and always being ready. And we'll get, I'll get with Coach Trickett tonight and see you know, what, how we're moving forward. Whatever happens, we'll adjust off those things. And I have zero reservations about him being prepared to take us on the road and win us a football game. What did you like about that last drive from him? I would say composure. I mean, I think things come at you fast. I, that's actually the position I played. I played quarterback, and all of a sudden you get out there, and there's, as a backup, you don't get as many reps going throughout the week. So you have to get mental reps. You have to get reps from film and when you're standing on the sidelines. And he prepares. He prepares properly. And as he, as he continues to get more reps, he'll just continue to grow and get better and better. Coach, you mentioned earlier about how you had to go through a lot of your switching roles during the game to this one. How was that? It was unique, I guess the best way to put it. Uh, my previous role, I was, I was helping signal on defense and I was running the special team. So today I didn't signal on defense, so that was, that was taken off my plate. Um, but I, I saw offensive plays for the first time today. I've never seen those before So um, during the game. So uh, I'm just trying to bring energy and organization to both the staff and the players to put them in the best situation possible to be successful. And I think we did that at times today, and we'll continue to find ways to, to grow and get better and give these guys a, a fighting chance as we move forward. And Brad, you responded pretty well, too. In the first half, you fell behind, but then you go into the break all tied up. So if you can talk about how things worked out in the first half, obviously it's a different story in the second half, but you showed a lot of you know, bounce back in that first 30 minutes. Yeah, you know, I mean, we have a couple of young guys stepping up, a couple of guys, you know, switching positions, getting more reps than they're used to. And so I think it took, you know, a drive or two to, for people to settle in. But once we got settled in, we started to move, uh, move the ball a little bit. So, um, you know, kudos to them and uh, kudos to the offense for, you know, not getting down when we're mentally down, when we're down in the game and responding, you know, right before the half, because that was big. Um, you know, it's 0-0 zero, zero going into halftime. So <clears throat> it, was a, it was a good response. Uh, you know, not letting uh, the score affect our play and just come out and respond in and uh, just continue to work. It seems since after the bye, you guys have kind of added a little, a few more wrinkles, some wildcats, some you know, different things. Uh, has it, does it make it a little bit more fun in practice when you're not just kind of going through the motions of the, the same stuff, kind of at least getting one wrinkle in each week? Yeah, practice is always fun. I mean, it's always been, it's always a great time being out there with the coaches that we have and with the players that we have. It's a, Always a good time, but I will say it is, it is fun when we add a little wrinkle here or there. You know, it's just some flavor of the week, uh, whether it be Wildcat, whether it be a trick play, double pass, you know, whatever it is. Uh, it's cool repping those in practice and then, you know, getting to rep those in the game because, you know, it's, the game is meant, uh, meant to be played to have fun. You know, it's, it's serious, but it's also, you know, it's a game. We're here to have fun and, you know, be with our brothers. Speaking of fun, how are you recovering from the sniper shot that you took on that ball? On all sides. I don't know how I'm going to recover from that one. <laughs> a lot of pain. No, man. It was us. Uh, I'm doing good. Uh, did you get uh, any clear perspective on uh, on the play that, that Saka Travis go down? Uh, yeah, I did. I was unfortunately, he's a little bit faster than me, so he was in front of me. I was trying to chase him down. But um, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it's it's really unfortunate. It's, it's tough to see. You know, a guy that stepped up, played really well, and, you know, done his job and just kind of owned his role. Um, to see that happen to him, you know, it sucks. It's it's the nature of our game, though, unfortunately. Um, and it's it's tough as the old line seeing your quarterback get hurt, especially. Uh, but you know, we 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 have our arms around him, and you know, he's in our thoughts and prayers. And I know he's going to bounce back because that's the type of person he is. Uh, you know, he's tough on the field, but he's a tough he's a tough person, tough mentally. Um, so I know he'll he'll be alright. Bounce back.
And then uh, Byron comes comes in, leads you guys to a touchdown drive. After that, just you know, if, if Trey's out for an extended period of time, and if he's you know not able to go against Tulsa, which seems bleak at this point, you know, just kind of what are your thoughts about Byron leading this offense into uh, Tulsa next week? Uh, yeah, Byron's a a young guy, but when you see him on the field, he he carries himself in a in a veteran way. You know, he's a very very talented player, very uh, <clears throat> very driven. Uh, athlete, uh, he's got his head on straight, and he knows, he knows, you know what's going on. He's not, you know, sometimes when you put a freshman in there, you know, it's going a thousand miles an hour. But you know, he's level-headed. He's good, um, and so you know, we have full trust in him, just like I do um, everyone on our team. I have full trust in him to go in and get the job done. Right, also, I want to shout out Demetrius Harris, uh, 51st start, broke the uh, broke the USF record. Shout out to the homie. <laughs> How y'all doing? Y'all good? Good to see you. Was it uh, was it a little weird to see uh, to see uh, Nick back there in, in blue <laughs> and on this field as opposed to with you guys in the in the defensive back? Yeah, it was definitely different seeing him on the other side of the ball. Because I was the guy when I first came in. He was one of the older guys that helped me, you know, same build as a player. But I'm um, saying it was good. It was good seeing him, seeing his face again and just hearing his voice and giving him a hug, clapping him up and stuff like that. So it was a positive thing to see. And then just, you know, how, how did things change this week going from Coach Shoot to Coach Sims as you guys tried to maybe do some different things this week? Um, yeah, we tried some, some, some different things, but uh, I feel like us players, we got to make plays. It's up to us. Um, doesn't matter what scheme you have, the players will make plays. The scheme not going to work. So at the end of the day, it's up to the players to do what we got to do. What? First half, you guys kind of settled in there. Uh, you know, only gave up 17 in the first half. Third quarter, 21 kind of unanswered points. What was the flip? What did you see differently from SMU on their offensive side between the, between the first first half and the second half? There? Um, I would say they came out more attacking. I feel like the, their group was more confident coming out of halftime. Um, I can't really speak too much on like what happened because it happened so fast. And, and being in the game and stuff just flying around, I already know what happened. We have to watch film and see what really went on. But um, that's all I can say about that. Is it different having your defense coordinator on the field calling the plays and kind of actually being there with you guys? Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. I like when the DC on the field able to give us the calls faster. You know what I'm saying? Get us lined up faster. So, yeah, it's good. Dwayne, obviously, you're one of the veteran players. And there's a a difficult week, and we can talk about what you and other veterans how you kind of handled the group and the week as a whole. Um, you can't give up. You no, know, you know what I'm saying. No matter what's going on, you can't give up. As a leader, you know what I'm saying. The guys looking at you. If they see you give up, then that's it. The whole team is gone. But I have to keep that positive mindset. Keep on coming in every day, ready to work, ready to push my guys. Uh, that's one thing I hang my hat on. You know, so I got people depending on me. So because of that, I ain't gonna let them see me fold. Thank you. Thank you.